Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale right now, we are going to be talking about customizing your toolbar in QuickBooks POS. Yay! All right, before we jump into that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions and get answers on all the things that you're wondering about in QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have a great community there very active questions every day all the time uh, and if you're on YouTube go ahead and hit subscribe down below to get all the latest greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos all the time okay let's talk about this toolbar over here this toolbar shows up on any of the new and uh, main the main new screens uh, we have we still have a few leftover old looking screens in point of sale since all the updates the last few years but any of the newer screens that have the blue buttons over on the left hand side here can actually be customized and what i mean by that is there's probably some buttons you don't use over here on the left hand side like what in the world is show messages okay why would i want this on the make a sale screen who cares uh, so you can customize to your heart's content to get rid of and add most any uh, action over here on the left uh, there are a lot of actions under the I want to menu and some of them you may use more than others and you could actually put them over here and so you can do that either by hitting the customize button in the lower left hand corner here or you can just right click on the background here and hit customize buttons I will also mention that you can get rid of that whole area by hitting minimize or expand you can bring it back so let's go ahead and show you what this uh, what this means here like if I am constantly going on the I want to menu and I'm heading in here to what change price level maybe maybe I maybe I have a wholesale price level and a regular price level and I I'm always changing the price level for some reason uh, according to what customer is standing in front of me well if I want that over here because I use it all the time I'm gonna hit customize buttons you will see on the left hand side all of the available actions or tasks that you can add to that area and then we on the right hand side we have the ones that are already there so like I was saying maybe who cares about the show messages button I'm gonna get rid of that by hitting left and then on the left hand side I want the change price level to be here and if you'd like to rearrange it because you want it in a specific order you can start hitting up and down on these so I'll select this one I'm gonna move it all the way to the top because I like it up there and then I'm gonna close so we can see up here we got change price level and now I can go ahead and change my price level instead of having three extra clicks or whatever by hitting the I want to button uh, and menu and getting in there and doing it I can simply hit the blue button that's at the top alright so the make sale screen has that toolbar that you can customize just like that uh, let's see receiving vouchers also has it I believe the item list has it so you can you know and each one of these screens is going to have a different list of things that you can put over there because the screens are totally different and have different needs and actions and tasks uh, I don't think the purchase order screen has that unfortunately we still got the old screen here I don't know why they didn't update that but you know your customer list once again you can customize the uh, buttons over here with whatever you want alright get it so now you have the information on how to make your point of sale more tailored to your tastes and likes and needs. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And otherwise, we will see you soon. Leave a comment or question if you want. Bye-bye now.